Now, we have uh, at least briefly mentioned the collection of evidence and the necessity that that be done legally, <clears throat> but um, uh, collection, retention, preservation, and documentation of evidence all has to go on. And, I, you know, this, this is where it gets into uh, the warnings that I've given you about, you know, if y you have, you know, even suspect, if there is any possibility that what you are investigating is going to end up in court, um, you've got to document it. And you've got to document how you documented it. And you've got to document how you documented how you documented it. It's, you know, I mean, it's a rabbit hole. But um, you do have to be extremely careful. You do have to be able to, you know, that foundation of admissibility. Um, you know, that comes, touches on so many areas. The, the um, chain of custody. Uh, but, you know, how did you uh, collect the evidence? How did you preserve the evidence? How did you examine the scene? So, um, when you have a scene, an actual crime scene, um, videotape, photograph the scene prior to starting any kind of investigation, any uh, kind of stuff. Now, you will have seen uh, stuff on different television shows and the police come in and just, you know, walk through the scene and pick up important evidence and put it in their pockets and stuff like that, you know, or a, a ratty bag that they pick up from somewhere. You know, it depends on, on what kind of evidence it is. And, and forensic collection of evidence is a specialty in and of itself. And the police, you know, and not all the police go through all of that. They get specialized training in collecting forensic evidence, even when it's a traffic accident. Uh, you know, let alone a murder or something. And as I say, uh, you know, our evidence, digital evidence, is a lot... Uh, more malleable uh, it's, it's fragile um, and we have to be particularly careful so document what it looks like before you start uh, you know what kind of evidence do you think you might find um, you know if it's DNA evidence no, you don't walk in there without the bunny suits. Uh, they, yeah, they look funny, uh, but they are made that way for a reason, so that you don't shed anything that contaminates the scene and contaminates the evidence you collect at the scene. You use gloves. Uh, you use tweezers. You use evidence bags. And evidence bags aren't evidence bags just because they have labels for you to write on. Evidence bags have, uh, you know, been thoroughly cleaned so that there isn't any kind of trace that is going to contaminate the trace evidence that you are picking up as evidence. So, um, all of this goes into the collection and preservation. Um, photograph and videotape what you are doing as you are doing it. Uh, particularly, I mean, you know, maybe the police don't do that. Probably they do in a, a number of cases. But certainly um, they, uh, you know, you as an untrained person definitely have to have somebody filming you, demonstrating what you have done, proving uh, 
what you did, how you collected evidence, how you preserved it, how you protected it, it all needs to go into that. And, I mean, you know, videotaping is all very well. Um, we, these days, it's, it's getting harder and harder, but um, we used to tell people don't use a digital video camera. Now, these days, everybody is videotaping everything with their phones. So, yeah, it's digital. But uh, if you have an analog video camera, uh, yes, that is better because uh, it is more difficult to edit analog video than digital video. We've got lots and lots and lots of tools to make fakes out of digital video these days and to edit it and to change it. Um, so, uh, you know, you know, maybe it's too much, but, you know, do the best you can. Take detailed notes, draw diagrams, have somebody else following you around, uh, documenting, uh, taking notes, what you did. Um, what you found, what you did with it, how you preserved it. All of these, all of these types of areas. You have to prove it. Like I say, you know, if it ends up in court, there's going to be somebody on the other side and they don't have to prove you're wrong. They just have to prove you made a mistake.